In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a read meter to your WordPress site so that you can give your viewers an estimate of how long it'll take to read any piece of content on your site. And you can choose which types of content this read meter appears on. You can also have a progress bar at the top of the page. So you can have a progress bar and a reading time estimate. And I'm going to show you how to set that all up in this tutorial. My name is Bjorn Allpass for WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your business, and for your clients. If you're into that kind of thing, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we're getting started right now. Here's a quick preview of what we're adding. At the very top, you see a light gray bar. And as I scroll, we see colors appearing from the left, a gradient, nice gradient from green to yellow as we scroll down, which is approximating the progress that we're making in the post. So the full gray bar is the entire post length, and we are currently this far down the post. It does not give us percentages or read time in this area or anything. It's just a simple progress bar showing how far we've come. The plugin also adds a reading time widget that you can put at the top of the page. And I added some custom CSS to make it look like this. It's in the description down below that custom CSS. You can just copy and paste it. But this gives us a reading time in minutes. And we define the reading time in words per minute in the plugin. And then the plugin calculates how long the post would take approximately. You can include images in that reading time. You can include comments in that reading time. I show you all the settings. I just set both these things up, reading time widget, add the CSS and the scroll bar at the top. So let's hop into the dashboard and get this thing installed. The first thing we have to do to get the read meter on our site is install a plugin. And I need you to ignore how many plugins I have that are out of date right now. It's a bad thing to have this many out of date. I just don't have the time or the desire right now to do this. There's too much going on. Anyway, it's a risk having that many plugins out of date. You should always update your plugins as soon as you can. I have linked to the tutorial in the description down below to explain why you should do that if you don't know. Let's go to add new and let's look up read meter. There's a whole bunch of these and I like the read meter one. This is built by the same people behind the Astra theme brainstorm force. So it's a high quality plugin. I'm going to click on install. You should also back up your site before installing any new plugins on a live site. If you don't know how to do that, link in the description down below to get your backup set up. Click on activate once it's installed. And now we have a new setting under settings called read meter. And this is where we're going to set some settings. But first, let's take a look what we have on our site so far. Let's go to visit site. Let's head out to the blog. Let's find a long blog post. This is the longest one on the website. And what has been added to this page is reading time right here, 16 minutes, and a light gray bar at the top of the screen. Those should be there automatically. You can turn the progress bar on and off. I'll show you how in just a minute. The reading time should be there for sure once you install the plugin. Here you can choose where this reading bar should appear. For me, I just wanted all my posts, just the blog. You can have an assumption of how many words per minute. This is what the reading time is based on. So it's 16 minutes of reading time, assuming you can read this many words per minute. So change this to whatever you think the reading time is or the average reading time for your audience or your country or whatever you think is accurate. And then that's what the reading time is going to be based on. You can choose to include comments in the reading time and images. If you have images with a lot of text, like this blog post here does, there's a lot of text in these images, as you can see. Table of contents, not an image. A lot of text in here. So I'm going to include images in my reading time. I'm going to click on save. See if this has been updated from 16 minutes to something else, something longer. 19 minutes now. Very good. The read time tab is where you can customize that read time message that we see right here at the top. We can choose to have it on single posts, home page, archive page. I'm just going to keep it on single post. You can have it above the content, above the title, below the title, or none. I'm going to keep mine above the content. You can have a prefix. Reading time, you can change it to whatever text you want. The minutes can be whatever text you want as well, or mins in this case, short for minutes. The font size can be changed. The margin, which is the space around the actual element. The padding, which is the space around the words, but inside the element, if that makes sense. We can change the background color. We can have the text color set. Let's change our background color to something a little more obvious. Maybe that's not it. Maybe this one. Let's click on save, refresh. For some reason, the background color is not being added, but I whipped up a little CSS that you can copy and paste into your site that'll help you customize the look of the reading time widget. The progress bar is the bar that's at the top of the page up here. It's a light gray right now. We're going to see it doing some fancy things in just a minute. So you can choose where to display it, top of the bar or top of the page, bottom of the page, or none. 
You can choose the style, normal, or gradient. I prefer gradient because it's a cooler effect. The background color is the color of the bar when you're at the top of the page. The primary color is the color that first appears once you start scrolling down the page. The secondary color is the color that appears as you get farther down the page. And because it's a gradient, it's going to transition smoothly from the green to the yellow. Pretty cool effect. And you can change the thickness of the bar here. I'm going to keep mine at 12. I'm going to save. Come back out here, refresh. Make sure the changes have been added. Now if we scroll down, you'll see the green appearing right there and yellow. So it's not transitioning from green to yellow. That was my mistake. It's green at the beginning, yellow at the end, and gradient in the middle. And that gradient just extends. Or the, the length of that gradient area extends, I guess. As you scroll down the page, you can see the progress bar progressing, <laughs> as it should. And it does not say how many minutes. If you hover over, it doesn't say how many minutes are left or anything. So it's not an indicator of how much time is left, just how much distance, I guess you could say. So let's head back up to the top. And the real indicator of reading time is this guy right here. Now I'm going to add a little CSS to make this look a little better. So let's go back into the site. Let's go to Appearance and then Customize. Click on Additional CSS. Most themes these days have an additional CSS section inside the customizer. So you should be able to find it here or in your theme options. Uh, I'm going to just paste it at the very top just as an example. Let's call this Read Meter. This is a CSS comment that I have up there. If you don't know what that is, check out the video linked in the description down below. It's to my CSS, HTML, CSS, JavaScript channel where I tell you all about comments and how they work and what they're for. And you also learn some CSS, HTML, and JavaScript while you're at it. And you can just paste the CSS in right here. It's in the description down below. So you just copy and paste it from there. And then we click on Publish. And these selectors should work for you. These are selectors that the plugin adds. These are the selectors right here. Again, my CSS, HTML, and JavaScript channel will teach you all about those. Let's go back out here, refresh. And now this should look a little different. There, we have a little bit more spice, a little bit more jazz right here for a reading time widget. Makes it stand out a little bit more. And you have unlimited flexibility on how to style it because CSS does everything in regards to styling and appearance on a website. So you have a lot of flexibility to make this fit into your template, your theme, your website look, whatever your design is, you can make that work. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And also make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions, because questions come up. I'll try to answer them as best I can. And next up is watching this video up here, which shows you the top 10 mistakes I see over and over and over again in WordPress sites regarding security. And then watch this video down here, which is how to speed up your site using Nitro Pack. Super simple to speed up your site and make it a lot faster with just a few clicks. So check that out. My name is Bjorn Allpass for WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.